Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome on this Webflow tutorial. And today we're changing the color of a logo on hover inside of Webflow. And it's actually pretty simple to do. And I'm going to offer you two different solutions to how to do it. One with custom code and the other one without custom code. And I'm providing these two options because some of you may not have a paid account plan. So you don't have access to the embed code that you can add to a page inside of Webflow. If you have the ability to use the custom code, I would suggest you go that way because it's actually it's very simple to do and you have more flexibility to use this but if you don't have it then the other option is just perfectly fine so let's get started with the first one we're going to start with a custom code so what i'm going to do is i will first drag a div block inside of the page and i will call that section i'm gonna give it some width so 100 view width and 100 view height so it's taking 100 percent of the viewport and i'm going to set the display to flex Align center, justify center. So everything I put inside of it is going to work. So if you were trying to add, let's say, a logo like this, an Im you would use that as an image, and you would enter this uh, SVG file that you have, right? And you're going to maybe give a class, call that class image, and you would go here, try to change the color. It wouldn't work. And so what you have to do actually is you have to one first remove this one and inside a section you will add a embed and in this embed code you will you would paste the code from your svg file so if you don't have an svg for your logo i would suggest you ask your client or uh, whoever you're working with to provide this file for you as it's usually the best way to work with a logo so what you need to do is to locate the svg file inside of your computer you will right click and you would open it with a text editor or your code editor of choice so i'm gonna go with visual studio code that's what i use and what you will do is you see all these codes. So don't be frightened. It's very simple. What you will do is you will take everything that is starting with the opening bracket SVG and the uh, closing bracket SVG. You will take all of these. Sometimes in SVG, there will be more than this. But all you need to take is what's inside the SVG. So from starting to closing. So you'd copy that. You would paste it inside of your HTML embed code inside of Webflow. And what you will do now you would save and close. What you need is now to set a width so we can see what's happening. So let's set that to 300 pixels, maybe a bit bigger, 400 pixels. So you can clearly see that it's a blue logo, right? What I need to do to change the color, very simple. You go back to this gear icon, click on it, and you would search for fill. So command F and you would search for fill and this one is going to appear. What you need to do is remove what's after that. So it could be a hex code or it could be just a color like blue. You remove that and you will write current capital color. So you need to write current color like this. So small C, but a big C here. You save and close. And what you can do now is the, you can go here in typography color and you can start changing the color right here. So let's say I want it black on start, but when it overs, I want it to become blue. So what you do now is you would just simply go to here to this drop down. You click on it, you would go to hover. You would go to the color again, and let's pick a blue. Right? And I'm going to switch that to a full blue like this. And so now what's happening, hovering, and from the black, it becomes blue on hover. You can also add a bit of transition so it works you can also add a bit of transition so it looks smoother. So you go to uh, font color, typography font color, because we're affecting the font color. And I would just change that to 500 milliseconds for the duration of the transition. And from ease, I'm gonna stick that with ease. So when I'm over now, it's smoothly working. So that's option number one. If you have the access to embed code, I highly suggest you go that way because you have more flexibility of doing it this way. But if you don't, I'm going to show you option number two. For the second option without custom code, what I will first do is I will add a div block inside of the section. And I will call that wrapper. Now I need to go to position and I need to switch that from static to relative. What I will do now is I will add a first image inside of the wrapper and I will select the image, which is going to be the black one. And I'm going to give it a width of 400 pixels. So I can see that here. I will now give it a class of image. I will call that image. 
and I will go to position, relative, and I will set a Z index of two. The second thing now I need, I need the other version of the logo that I want. I want the blue version. So I will add another image inside of the wrapper. I will choose the image and I will choose a blue one and I will shoot a width of 400 pixels. As you can see right now, they're sitting side by side and it's not exactly what we want. What we want is we want just one showing up. So what I will do now, I will go to the blue version. I will give it a class of image dash absolute. And I will go to the position. I will change it from static to absolute. And what I need to do is to click on this one, to click to full, and I will set as index of one. So we can see now that the blue logo has disappeared, but actually it didn't disappear. It's simply sitting behind the black version. And I'm going to show you why. So essentially, if I take the first one, the black one, and I reduce its opacity from 100 to zero, you can see that the blue one is right there. It's actually behind. And how is it behind is because the Z index of the black one is on two and the Z index of the blue one is on one. And so the Z index is sort of a stacking order. The lower the Z index is, it's going to be situated behind a higher index. So one is below two. So two is going to be on top of one. So next, all I need to do now is to create the animation on hover. So what I will do is I will select the image, the black one. I will go to here, drop down I'll click on hover and I will go to opacity and set that to zero. So now if we take a look is as I hover, it becomes blue. So that's the animation we want. But now I want again to add a bit of transition because I don't want this to be so abrupt. So I'm going to go to the image, the black one, and I will go to transition. I will go to, I will search for a type. I will search for opacity. I'll select that and I will add 500 milliseconds, set that to ease. And so as I hover, over in, it becomes blue with a nice transition. So that's pretty much it. You now have two ways to change the color of a logo, whether with custom code or without custom code. I would again suggest that you would use custom code because it's very simple and you have more flexibility with that. But if you can't embed a custom code, then that's perfectly fine with solution number two. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up below. And if you would like to see more Webflow tutorials in the future, I invite you to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos every single week. So I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.